All right, what we have here is a 1977 Checker. This is a true A11 working taxi cab, not just another yellow car. I don't think that's gonna be legible at all, but uh, it does say A11 in the pin number. She's kind of rusticated. The car's had a horribly rough life. You're looking at a car with over a million miles on it. Um, this was originally purchased by the Fort Cab Company and they had a contract with the government to supply transportation. Um, so they would just run them and run them and run them. Whenever they lost the contract, they sold a good bit of their fleet off and Coca-Cola snatched up a small number of them. And they were releasing a new soda called Surge Soda. It's uh, their version of basically Mountain Dew. So they painted these cars up and gave them away. It was a big promotion, a big to-do. Um, they did not restore the cars. They simply uh, freshened them up. So they all got new paint jobs, new tires. Um, I think new tires if they needed them. <laughs> Uh, new upholstery, booming sound system, and then they were given away. Um, a lot of them had soda loaded in the trunk and they weren't really thinking about it. And the sodas either got too hot or too cold and exploded and filled the trunks with sticky soda. Um, you can see the remnants of where there was checker stripe on it. Um, you kind of see it there. You see the yellow poking out. They just did a quickie paint job on it. But, uh, you know, there's, there's, I think there's maybe 40 of these ever made into the Surge Soda uh, promotion cars. They would put a sticker right there on the bottom of the door that would tell you what number build your car was. Um, I'm sure that's not the boom and stereo that they included with it. But, um, yeah, this thing has seen better days. But at some point, I will attack this and make it whole again. Um, eight of 77 production. And... Still that distinct clunk of a checker. She's got some rust. I think they came from the factory with rust. They're like designed that way. Um, I've been collecting parts and odds and ends for this. It does have uh, rare optional jump seats. Um, but yes, a huge amount of work to be done left to this one. Um, I've already gone through and replaced all of the brakes. Uh, it wouldn't even roll when I got it. And so I put new hubs on it or new uh, uh, front rotors, rear drums, uh, wheel sills, uh, wheel cylinders. Uh, I have not got the master cylinder swapped yet. Uh, that's the final piece of that puzzle and she will have completely new brakes. But I found more rust on the frame than I like. So... I may not even end up using the 77 chassis. Um, I acquired an 82, which is the last year of production. That uh, seems to be a solid, very nice frame. And it's got the most upgraded chassis version of uh, uh, that was offered. 82 is the last year of production. This is uh, what they call a rear steer chassis. Was in Kentucky. I think it's got a Kentucky title, if I remember. But just another old checker. Mm. 
have to help that hood closed. It's got a little kink in it. I thought it might be neat to do a Gotham cab and then jokerize it. It's already joker green. <laughs> All right, uh, back to projects.